Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Brian the Divine Healer here with you, getting ready to do your Capricorn Aquarius cusp reading. That's right, welcome, come on in, put your feet up, relax, grab your coffee, grab your juice, whatever you got, because we're going to get hot, okay? So, hope you're all having a good weekend so far, all right, happy Sunday. Uh, let me give a shout out to my Divine Squad. That's my little subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, if you're brand new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. Become part of this Divine family. Let me get into it, okay? I'm going to tell you what I do real fast while I shuffle these cards. I lay two cards down. These two cards represent your energy in the present, okay? This is the duality of yourself. Your yin and your yang, positive, negative, light, and dark side, right? I'll lay more cards out, tell you a story. That story will have your message. After your message, I'll give you a verdict, your outcome, your grand finale. And then I'll give you a wisdom chakra card. And that wisdom chakra card is going to be a card to tell us what chakra you need to work on to help you through your tarot message. How do you like that? Okay. So, uh, let's do this. Excited, excited to find out what you all got going on today, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle these up probably like 2,500 more times. No, just kidding, like two more times, and then I'll let you pick your cards. How you like that? Mm -hmm. All right, pick them. Here we go. First card. Queen of Cups. Ooh, interesting. Well, Queen of Cups says that you're very intuitive, right? You're also on top of your emotions, right? You're not letting things bother you, okay? It's a little vague, a little early, but let's get the second card here. Let's see. Hierophant. Ooh. This is a government agency. This is uh, an organization. This is also the God card. This is also raising your vibrations because spiritually, this is the Hierophant. Physically, you'd be the Emperor. Right. Okay. So. Hmm. looks like you're you're definitely ascending right you're definitely emotionally stable but you are still raising your vibrations spiritual this is this is bueno i like this this is really good okay still a little vague so let's get to the first card of your story and let's find out what the, all this is going to mean Queen of Wands says you're intelligent, also very attractive, right? Stable, because look at the foundation that she's on, very stable, right? Very sassy. This is my sassy pants card, okay? So your passions are very, uh, let's say, <laughs> borderline sexual energy, right? Still a little vague, <laughs> but two queens on the table with the Hierophant, I'm only waiting for the Empress to come out. Okay. What do we got there? Knight of Wands. Ooh. Mm. So with the Knight of Wands, you're taking action, right, very passionately. The Knight... Knights mean taking action, moving forward. And so since you are looking, well, since this Knight of Wands is facing towards this Queen of Wands, see, Wands and Wands, right? I'm feeling that you are trying to pursue something creative, something beautiful, right? Something official, right? Because you're emotionally sound. 
Okay, so you're, which, which that means to me is that you're very passionate about what you're driven to move towards. Something very, I'm, I'm feeling something very creative though, okay? Let's dig into this a little deeper. What are we doing here with this? Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Whoa. Ten of Wands is burdens, right? Bears and blockages. But this also could mean that you're bringing burdens. See that little town over there? You're bringing, you're walking <laughs> towards that town. So whatever burdens that you are carrying, it's like you're bringing, you're bringing these burdens towards whatever this, this creativeness is. I just keep feeling creative, creative, maybe a project, maybe some kind of business, right? Some organization, maybe you're trying to start something. I'm not quite sure. But you're definitely, well, now that I'm looking at it a little bit deeper, these burdens, they're going away, right? Because oh, the Knight of Wands is going towards the Queen of Wands, but the burdens are going away. So I think that this is the Knight of Wands is sexual energy. I really do, okay? And so that burden, it's like you're releasing because now tens represent completions and endings. So I think whatever this energy is, that you were a little sassy in trying to be this maybe it's a persona that you were just trying to maybe it's your 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 aura it's your it's the personality that you're portraying or coming off as is, is kind of ending okay let's just pull another card i might use my light seer's tarot deck here to get another some clarity on that but let's just drive forward yeah you're putting all that behind you okay so with the Queen of Cups here is, is, is that, you know, you're you're getting into this loving energy. You're raising your vibrations and you're moving away from this sexual sassy kind of energy, right? And you're putting that behind you because nines, you're achieving some kind of passion, which means you're, you're staying grounded, but you're putting these burdens, which is the sexual energy behind you, okay? So it's, it's like, You're now portraying yourself in this energy of loving and, and, and intuitive and stable with your emotions and not being this attractive kind of, I mean, the Queen of Wands can be dark, right? She could be a dark kind of person, right? Dark thoughts, dark dark actions, whatever. And with that Knight of Wands, that signifies that there was like this sexual energy that was within you that you were portraying, but because you're raising your vibrations here, you are now ending this kind of energy and you're just putting it behind you. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay. Five of Pentacles, you're just like, you're putting this behind you and you're leaving this energy out in the cold, right? You're just, yeah, I think you're realizing that that shit ain't working, right? So maybe, you know, when you're trying to date, you come off as this kind of, you know, uh, sensual, sexual kind of person. A lot of fire up in here. Fire sign, fire sign. So when you're raising your vibration to keep yourself in this loving intuitive because you know that you have to be a real self and this is kind of that reflection and so with that uh queen of wands that cat on the bottom it's like your shadow side right so it's like you're taking the action to really release that energy release your shadow side work on your spirituality bring yourself to a higher level Ending those burdens because those that ten of wands, he's moving towards this nine of wands, right? So you go from ten to nine. So obviously you're you're releasing and you're dropping that energy. And so now you're going to put it behind you and you're going to leave that energy basically out in the cold. Okay. Mm. 
And fives represent change. So you're changing the way you're evolving in your own self by knowing how you really feel, but the way you portray yourself, okay? And so you're going to leave that out in the cold. I like this. This is nice. Yeah, see, this is this is all for your own happiness, right? This is nurturing yourself. This is loving yourself. Raising your vibrations, changing the way that others see you or maybe that the way that you portray yourself to others. Mm. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Nice. Bossing up. What? See, I told you you're raising your vibrations. Didn't I not say that the Hierophant is your higher self spiritually, but then the Emperor is your higher self physically? And we got those both on the table right now, so stop it. Right. So you're definitely bossing up and taking command of the way that you want to be seen. What do we got here? Uh, and that's Vic, that's happiness, that's celebration. Okay, we'll take these two. Any more? Let me just check. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so let's dig into these ones. Three of Cups. Three of Cups says you, you can now celebrate this victory for yourself, this, this change, because threes represent change. Changing your emotions. And why are you changing your emotions? Because you're raising your vibrations to become a more loving and and um, emotionally yourself. Okay? Getting out of this sassy, creative, uh, sexual energy as a persona, which is really your dark side, your shadow side. Dropping those burdens and leaving them behind you, which is changing your whole stability. And stability can be your emotions and logic and also, you know, your finances and stuff. But we're really talking about you ascending here. <clears throat> you ascending here. Raising your vibrations to become that emperor that you really are. Okay, this is your happiness. Now you get to celebrate because of the way that you changed your emotions. The way that you see yourself. Okay. So we'll take the next cards here. And you got the four of pentacles so you're going to hold on to this energy right you're not going to let it go look at not letting that go right you're staying true to yourself and you're burying this false persona your shadow side because you're raising your vibrations okay so i don't do reversals so that hangman is you putting yourself stuck you kind of put yourself in these own burdens because you were just dealing with your shadow side trying to raise your vibrations and so when you did that makes you happy to know that you get to be yourself you get to evolve to who you really are which is that emperor so that changes your emotions you're very happy about this so you're celebrating this idea and you're holding on to this kind of stability which means you're going to really stay who you are true to yourself it's like you fought your shadow side and you won okay so you're just going to stick yourself in this energy and you're going to hang on to this, right? Hang on to it. I like this. Mm. It's like you know your true version of yourself. So you decided to fight your shadow side, realize your shadow side and that shit. You change the way that you feel for your own happiness to really evolve into the emperor as you are. So now you've got the duality of yourself. You've got the emperor, which is, like I said, the physical side. The hierophant as that spiritual side. That is a duality. These are the two cards. This is why I do all these readings. <laughs> okay? So be happy and celebrate yourself for that. Because not a lot of people can fight their own selves, meaning their shadow side, to raise their vibrations higher and really pursue their own happiness by being true to themselves. Duality. Stop it. Just quit. <laughs> okay? I know what I'm talking about. And the cards are just a pictorial uh, guide to help you uh, understand what I'm talking about. Right? So because you changed this, now you're in harmony with yourself. Physical, spiritual side, you got yourself together. 
It's all based off of your intuition and how you know you feel about yourself. But portraying yourself is how the challenge was. And you have definitely conquered that. Now you're balanced. Boom. Because you put in the hard work to do that. Maybe you realized that you were coming off in a certain way. Coming off in your shadow side, a little attractive, a little dark, a little sexual, right? I'm just going to keep it real because that's how I do it. But inside you knew that you're really not that person, okay? So then you started evolving yourself. You started realizing, hey, i got to drop this shit because it's really going to keep me stuck. And that changed the way that you feel for your own happiness to evolve into this emperor. Gaining the duality of self to hang on to this energy and it was a little hard work, or it is going to be hard work, for you to gain this balance. But it's beautiful because you execute it very effectively. Okay? So that's the story. Let's get to the outcome. Here's your first card of your outcome. Look at you, Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God. Now you have four, I mean, three queens on the table. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. It takes four queens to be that empress. You're already at the emperor mode, so you definitely are grounded and you're stable and solid. And you're sticking and holding on to this energy. Your true self. Teamwork. Collaboration. So now what I feel is now that you're better grounded in yourself, you've conquered your darker side, your shadow side. Let yourself ascend spiritually higher to become this emperor now that you're more stable you're able to work better with others you're better off collaborating as your true self being grounded and stable in this energy than you were previously that's the outcome my friends okay and your story so let's get to a chakra wisdom card and let's see what Chakra wisdom card. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing my words. Uh, is going to help. What what card is going to help you? What 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 chakra is going to help you through this? Okay. Ooh, that took a minute to get it out. And I've used these cards pretty recently. They're fairly new. And every reading that I've done them in. Oh hi. How do you like that? <laughs> it fits perfect to the tarot message to help you guide yourself in what chakra to use to help you through this. Okay, so what we have here is the first chakra, which is a base chakra. This says building a strong foundation, 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 foundation. I can't, foundation, stop it. Let me read this to you, okay? It says, I create stability and security by uh, adequately providing myself with basic needs of health, life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing, okay? I use my create creativity to build a strong foundation as this is essential, is an essential key to my survival and growth. If you were going to stay trapped in your dark side, in your negative energy here, your shadow side. You're not allowing yourself to grow. You're not allowing yourself to be stable. The more inner and outer stability I have, the more grounded and fulfilling my life will become. Stop. Now here's an affirmation or mantra that I want you to use. Maybe say it a few times. Rewind the video check this out okay it says i respect myself and take care of my physical body by nurturing and nourishing it my body tells me what i need 
Okay, so because your intuition was nudging you to raise your vibrations to get out of your darker side, you realize you had to let that go, that persona, that side of you, you let it go. Dropping those burdens, putting it behind you, changing your whole stability, bringing yourself happiness to raising yourself physically as an emperor, boss mode, gaining that foundation, stability, groundedness, okay? Gaining the duality. You conquered your darker side. Okay? So, how do you like that? I think it was fantastic. It was a great read. Definitely a lesson some of y'all probably need to learn. Okay? And so that's why I'm here to do this. So, great job. Good job. Fantastic job. You guys nailed it. Okay? So, with that being said, that has been your reading. Enjoy that because I did. Like I said, if you're new, hit that like button and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Family. Divine Family, as always, thank you for your support, right? So, binge my playlists. Tell everybody about my channel. When you go out in the world, be safe, my friends. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Peace and pray, and I'll definitely see you again.